Well, welcome to another installment of the Lord's Temple Fitness with St. Stephen's Wellness Center. And as you can see, I have a guest here. It is Nicole Banks, and she and I have been talking about our different fitness paths and uh, how, I won't say how different they are other than intensity and uh, what it is that is the lead, I yes. guess, the major uh, style of fitness that our personality yes. prefers. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, but still and yet, we do what each other does. It's just to different degrees. So I appreciate that Nicole has been my student for so long and in different ways here with yoga. And now she's bringing me some information on swimming. She jumped right in and started doing it. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. I was at the age of 40 and didn't know how to swim. So I wanted to learn how to swim. And there was an adult learn to uh, learn to swim class. It was free. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I can't lose. So I went in. In a matter of four days, I learned how to swim. Are you serious? Yes. It was that simple. Wow. That patient. The teachers kind. were that good. The teach you had individual mm -hmm. teachers. Oh. It was amazing. Okay. They teach okay. you the basic techniques, mm -hmm. make you comfortable with the water. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, I was swimming. Well Love it. write that down. <laughs> so from swimming, uh -huh. I learned how to swim. Mm -hmm. And that just progressed and I ended up becoming a swim instructor. You're teaching swimming? Yes. And to me, that's a way of giving back. Uh-huh. Okay. I yes. Give back you can to save, definitely who save it, lives swim. with swimming and yes. expand people's horizons. Yes. Because then you were telling me about people and swimming or There's a lot of people that either didn't have the access to a swimming pool or they had a water experience that was was tetra they was petrified from it. Mm -hmm. So either they got thrown in a swimming pool, got mm -hmm. thrown in some water, right. and just was scared because they didn't know what to do. Right. So they right. didn't even know how to float. Right. So a lot of times you could just learn how to float and mm -hmm. it'll save your life because you eventually drift up to where wow. you need to go. Wow. So okay. it's is amazing. Right. Right. Okay. I learned how to swim at the age of forty. Because I didn't think I well, could. Well, thank you for learning how to swim and then becoming an instructor so that yes. you can teach others. Yes. That's part of the Lord's temple is taking care of your body. Yes. Does it burn fat? Yes. It's a good cardio. <laughs> it's a it's great a cardio. Great cardio. Yes. Great cardio. Cardio workout. plus you have to breathe. That's a breathing technique you breathe. have to use. So that goes in with yoga. You yes. Gotta breathe. Yes. Yes, it does. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about breathing and yoga because breathing techniques are is incorporated into a yoga class, but it also can be unpacked so that you can uh, strengthen your breathing lungs and the whole system, <laughs> your respiratory system, because we have, you have a breathing story. Yes. Tell me. Um, with breathing, it's very important that you get really deep in your lungs. So sometimes, like when you go to the doctor, you don't get really deep. You just do your normal breathing. Then the doctor tells you to take a deep breath so it goes really deep. So there's also an oil that helps with your breathing as well to, for you to breathe really deep. Mm -hmm. And then also goes with your senses. Mm -hmm. Wow, we got a lot to talk about. Because <laughs> something else is, uh, Nicole lift, lifts weights. And I like to lift also, but I'm not lifting like she is. That's her lead um, workout, yes. where mine is yoga. But both of them play off of each other. Yes. And you get more of a well-rounded situation in your health and fitness. Yes. Both of them are resistance. Yes training type exercises both of them create a long lasting effect of your metabolism burn yes <laughs> oh yes definitely burn we got it going <laughs> on okay <laughs> and uh, you told me that it gives you energy energy yes and it's it's very therapeutic absolutely you can relieve stress mm-hmm 
you can relax as well because you don't have a problem going to sleep. Right. I you know. Right. Your body out. right. Yes. <laughs> and you don't have to stop eating, do no, you? No. Oh my your goodness. Eating you is better very feed important. those men. <laughs> it's just you have to eat the right stuff. Yes. And uh, I'll leave it at the right stuff with neither one of us being a nutritionist, but we have had nutritional advice. And I'm going to go ahead and let Nicole, she's a whole lot, okay? Yeah. So uh, she went to... I went to uh, a personal trainer. Dewan, uh, and Dewan means and Jordan means, you know yes. who it is. So I wanted to actually be toned. That was the personal look that I wanted to look for my body. So with only exercising, I needed to do the work to eat. So I did, went on their meal plan that they set up for me. I followed that, but my ultimate goal was to get into going plant-based. Mm -hmm. So officially, mm -hmm. I am four weeks in, plant-based is all yay, I do. Yay, So And I bet that drops, cuts so much out of your, of fat out of your. Yes, mm -hmm. so now I'm starting to see the transition of mm -hmm. my toning, mm -hmm. by what I'm eating, right. my strength, uh -huh. my energy. Uh -huh. It's amazing. All right. <laughs> That's what it's about. Uh, really being, learning to be proud of yourself for your efforts and knowing that you are changing your life. You are changing the temple for the better of the uh, soul that resides within us. Now, one thing, one of the last things that uh, God put in our body was our breath, our ability to breathe. So that's what we're going to talk about now. Then we're going to take it to the chair and do a little, uh, do some breathing exercises. Um, so first I want to show you a few things. And I hope you can read that word relax because we've our life is filled with so much tension and stress and strife that we don't even really think about relaxing. We think we're supposed to be at that fight or flight yes. level all the time we're on defense we're the victim we're we're this we're that we're anything but enjoying an abundance of happiness yes and we can it's at our access um one way of doing it is remember that you're always changing can you see that butterfly yes. you're always changing it's got some wings on it <laughs> yes don't pull the wings off the butterfly and then um here are some what is that Crystals? Himalayan rocks. Himalayan rocks. Okay. They're pink when they're closer together. <laughs> uh, more of them. So there's some Himalayan rocks. And then pineapples are a welcoming symbol and yellow. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't learn something Aloha today. Aloha and pineapples. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, I have this lovely fragrance. Ooh, uh, nice. I would not use all of my fragrance. And then I told... Somebody, I was just telling them about it. And I was like, is it him? I'll let you know. <laughs> and um, and it was. And next thing you know, I got a gift. Yay. Got a gift. <laughs> so then another um, thing that we can use is, this is an incense. It's Palo Santo. There are so many different things in all over the world uh, that are intercultural that you can find right here in the United States and they will make you feel relaxed. They will cleanse you, your body, your space. your. So don't be afraid to try something new. This is a piece of wood that is just aged. It's Palo Santo is the name of it and that means holy wood. And uh, then you can burn it and it'll just be in, um, as a matter of fact, might as well freshen up around here <laughs> and as you can see it'll it'll only stay lit for a little while before it goes out or you can shake it out and then you have oh. smoke going if you can see it and then also here's a piece of charcoal if you want longer lasting fragrance or let it go longer is to burn this piece of coal and some people are familiar with that and then you would just lay it on top and it will just keep burning keep an eye on it of course and so there but now nicole she deals in essential oils and she has some things to tell us about that any of these fragrances help you breathe better we only use about a third of our lungs even healthy 
and we need to breathe deeper. Like Nicole said, when we're going to the doctor's office uh, and he's checking our lungs, he wants us to breathe and hold. Well, that's part of our yoga practice. So I'm going to let Nicole tell you what she knows about essential oils, and I've got to learn a few things. <laughs> so, yes, thank you, Karen. <laughs> essential oils are just a game changer. You have to breathe, just like if you go to the dentist, they put the little Snoopy nose on you, mm -hmm. and it's like laughing gas, yeah. and you relax. Right, right. Same thing with essential oils. You just got to find what oil balances and mm -hmm. what do you need to do with mm -hmm. them. Like, I love lavender. Everybody knows lavender. Lavender right. is very relaxing. So most of the time after I work out, uh -huh. what do I do? I have lavender in a diffuser uh -huh. so I can smell it and just relax. Mm -hmm. okay. Then I may need some energy. Uh -huh. So there's a scent called Wild Orange mm -hmm. that gives you energy. Uh -huh. And the one that everyone knows, peppermint. Oh, do they? Peppermint. <laughs> Everybody loves peppermint. Uh -huh. Peppermint helps with headaches, but also it gives you energy. So if you have migraines or anything, Peppermint is something you want to keep. Right. Also, uh -huh. if people don't know this, uh -huh. peppermint also helps with allergies. So living in the Ohio Valley, right. peppermint is a good one to right. have to help with allergies. Right. And allergy season is here. Yes. If it hadn't gotten you yet, either it's on its way or you are immune to it. Yes. So, I won't. I won't say you're biding your time <laughs> because some people just don't have them, and I I don't normally have them too much, yeah. so that I know when something is going on in uh -huh. the summer, well, any season, yes. then I know it, it's an allergy. Oh my Instead, gosh. yeah, I've seen people really suffer with allergies. Yes, and it is because you can't breathe, right? Yes. So. Mm hmm. Essential oils help you breathe. You gotta breathe it in. Right. And then diffuse it. Right. And the thing is that your breathing, okay, your breathing apparatus, your nose, your nasal tract, mm -hmm. it is designed by God to trap these allergens, yes. okay? And mm -hmm. what the body is doing actually is responding to what it has trapped and you need to blow your nose for one thing, okay? But <laughs> <Yes>. then <laughs> I know eating local honey will help yes. your allergies also. Yes. There's so much thing we can so many things we can do for our temple. And then the first thing about breathing is blowing our nose. Yes. You want to keep your nose blow. Keep your clinics. I mean, whether it's running or not, give your nostril because your body has done its part by grabbing and then even making a way for yes. it to exit your body. Yes. We keep, we keep <laughs> sniffing it back in. Yes, you gotta let it out, <laughs> definitely. Right, yes. right. So Nicole and I have blown our nose already and now we're gonna, um, and we've taken a whiff of a couple of uh, scents. So we're gonna put our hand on our heart and on our belly and we're scooting closer to the edge so that we, our spine is nice and active and we have control over it. And you're welcome to join us here as we close our eyes. We're shutting the world out. And together we breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Third time's a charm. Breathe in. Feel the relaxation around your neck and shoulders. Even bring your elbows in closer to your body as you're allowing your muscles to relax. The exhale brings in relaxation. Good, and then you can just breathe there on your own pace. What Nicole and I are about to do is a little chair yoga. Grab you an armless chair and join us. Um, it's at beginner's level, and uh, Nicole she just she does full body workouts. Okay, so she just worked out yesterday, and we're uh, about to do a a quick full body, okay, a once over to give her some uh, relaxation through those lifted weights. So. We're about to do that. So Nicole and I are back in our chairs and you see they're armless. They're just little kitchen chairs, okay? Nice and sturdy. 
We're on our yoga mats that adds to the safety and sturdiness of the chair. We're sitting near the edge of our chair and we're going to continue on with that uh, breathing, showing how breathing is associated with the body and its movements. Actually, your movements should, your, your breathing leads the way. All right, if you flap your arms too long, you're gonna lose your breath and you're gonna have to catch it, right? So stay connected with your breath and we'll do, do it like this. I hope you can hear the music as we inhale, lift up our chest. We're bringing our elbows toward the back of us, really pushing the front body forward and lifting our chin up. You should feel it through your spine through your front body, and then as you exhale, you're bringing your chin to your chest, but start at the navel, rounding down through the spine, and move your elbows out to the sides, your shoulders toward each other over the front. In position, go ahead and breathe. Inhale and sit upright. We're gonna take our arms up into butterflies. You inhale, and you see how our movement is connected with our breath. We don't run out of breath. Our body is actually, we're practicing being calm. So we're opening up, this is the inhale, and the exhale brings our arms down into that point of relaxation. Inhale, bring your arms up. And exhale, bring your arms down. Good. So now, let's go into our Ali shuffle. Bounce your feet. Tap, 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 tap. We're getting blood flow moving. Just think um, the force of the breath helps the blood flow to move, okay? It all works together, right? You can move your feet forward. You can move them back. And go ahead and bring it to a stop and you can feel your circulation moving and you already know it's healing in the blood you probably already know that oxygen is riding along with the blood okay it's part of it okay so now let's heel toe our feet together or just step wide sitting as you need to on the chair to turn your fingernails toward each other and we're going to feel the breathing out of the back of our lungs where the doctor listens, okay? So as you inhale, push through your back, push your chest through your back, okay? Bring your chin down and go ahead and breathe, but stay folded and feel the back portion of your lungs doing the work. These organs, they uh, can be made stronger and more efficient by working them out like this. Okay, and you're coming up to sitting. We've done a little bit with our arms. Let me see, let's get it a little tighter. Um, more length, interlace your fingers and turn them, your palms forward. Push through your elbows, through your shoulders forward. You're sitting up tall through your inhale, through your spine, and as you inhale, bring your arms up overhead, and now lean. Squeeze that side that is folded. Inhale up, you're tall through the spine. Your shoulders are not at your ears. Your spine is long and you're sitting strongly into your bottom. Fold over to the other side. You can keep your knees touching. Okay. <laughs> and come on up. Your knees and your feet, sorry. Now hold your wrist, circle your wrist with a thumb and a forefinger. And now use that to lengthen, to pull. Now your elbow might be coming a little forward. Take the elbow up to the sky the point of the elbow. You feel that lengthening through yes. your lateral muscles? Good. Yes. Did you use those when you worked out? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, just go ahead and switch your hands right there. 
so that when you're inhaling up, coming over to the other side, you can lengthen through that arm, and then you're already in that yeah. lengthening. <laughs> it's not just a stretch, it's a lengthening. You're trying, you are changing your ability yes. and your range of motion. And then you're up and exhale and bring your arms down. Go down to the legs, pull your belly in, inhale and straighten your leg out. Pull your toes back to you. Stay up through your spine. Breathe through your chest if you have to. Can you move it out to the other side ever so slightly, whatever that is to you. Keep bringing that toe back to you. Now I'm really holding on to this chair to stabilize, okay? Because I don't want this knee to move. And then bring it back to the center. You're staying in control. Where'd you feel that? In my glutes. All right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so stand down in this foot and okay. now raise the other one. How about let's feel it in our thigh now too. Pull your toes back to you. You're standing up tall through your torso. Do you feel it in your... Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, uh, because your workout was what it was yesterday. Yes. Okay. Full body, you're going to feel it where, you know, differently probably. So now we're going to go into a figure four with our foot. Your ankle hangs off your flesh or the foot sits on the flesh, but you'll find that bone of the ankle won't feel so good as we inhale and sit up and exhale and fold forward. Feel that in your hip? Ooh, uh, yes. Nicole, I want your knee to go toward the ground. You can put your hand under your knee okay. to give it uh, biofeedback. Your body just understands itself. Okay. Okay, look forward, look way in front because we're not wind, rounding our spine. Okay. And then go ahead, inhale as you come up. Cross the leg as strongly as you can and even squeeze the inner thighs together. Okay. Pulling the shin bones toward each other. There you go. Look how much. Now can you tell your oh, inner wow. thigh is, yes, get it yes. girl. Okay, so, so now let's reach up and out for the handshake. Wrong okay. hand, but then cross the knee. Trying to get the elbow and knee as close together as you can. Your spine okay. is long and you're twisting. Oh, that feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Pull that back shoulder back. You're just helping the shoulders go in the direction they're going, okay? So the back shoulder's moving more back, the front shoulder's moving more forward into the twist. And then turn your head over your back shoulder. Only tone, turn your head forward, unwind from the top, the shoulders, and then the lower body also does the same. So, switch legs. Remember to take care of your thigh muscle. Okay. Avoid the ankle into the skin. And um, knee moves down. And you fold forward. So, you'll feel it in your hip. And I'm rubbing my knee because <laughs> I'm feeling it in my knee too. A little bit more than the other side and this is an indication that I got something going on with my knee because it normally doesn't feel like that okay so yoga is such a, a body check for you um, because you're moving nice and slow uh, you can cause yourself injuries if you're not honoring your body but normally yoga really highlights where you need to care for yourself Okay, and I got an oil for your knee. Okay. <laughs> so you're folding as far as you can. And go ahead and sit back up. Cross over. Cross your legs, getting the shins closer together, really strengthening through that. <laughs> Did we do more than this? I promise you I forgot. Did we do more than this, Nicole? 
Do you remember? No. This is what we did. Okay. We did the time. We did the time. Oh, well, that's what we did. Yeah, we did <laughs> okay, so take your arm up and switch over. <laughs> I talk so much. And twist through your hips and then through your mid-back, then your shoulders. Remember to isolate the shoulders and their movement and then turn your head, chin over your shoulder. Ah, make it feel good. It's relaxing. Yeah. You feel those muscles just unwinding. Yeah. Turn your head forward and then your shoulders forward. Excellent job. Go wide legs and we're going to get to the end of this as we're hands to the floor and walking your hands forward and Nicole definitely will feel this in her low back where she's been lifting. Walk forward with your hands then walk forward with your fingers. Okay. Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Inhale as you just come right back up to your sitting position. Now, Nicole, you can come out and stand on your mat next to your chair. And okay. I gave you a little bit of room. Okay. We're going to do our uh, push-ups right here. Okay. All right. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful way for you to feel your front body and your back body as you lengthen out. Okay. So, fingers forward, push-ups. Let's do feet separated, like hip distance. Good. And bend your elbows. Elbows are close to your body. You're just lowering yourself down. Slowly push up. You're looking forward. Now, bring your pelvis toward the chair. So bend at the back. Move your chest to the side wall and then up to the ceiling and chin up. And now we're going to shift our weight to bring our heels on the floor. We're pushing our hips back to the wall and just slightly pushing off the chair, but we're not disturbing the chair. We're just exchanging the energy of the chair. Yep, it has energy. Walk your fingers forward. Okay, Nicole, we're coming to our knees. Okay. You're gonna do a camel pose. Take your arm up and back to your foot. Best you can, whatever you're holding on to is perfect. And then go the other way. Get a little closer to my chair. Okay. Good. And pull your shoulders back toward each other. Your shoulder blades and look up. One hand on the hip, the other hand on the hip. Come to seated position. This is actually hero's pose, all right? We're turning around to have a seat. I'm gonna breathe some more. I'm just moving that just out of the way a little bit. So we can take our arms up. Are you able to take your arms up? Give yourself a hug, bringing the shoulders, fingers atop the shoulders. Give yourself a hug. Oh, because you love you. Yes. Love <laughs> you. Take care of your health and love you. That way you can really love on somebody else. Go ahead and put your hands down to your knees. And together, breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. Pulling your navel in. Hold it. Breathe in. Fill up your belly, fill up your chest. And exhale. Hold it, exhale your chest, exhale your belly. And those are some great breathing exercises that you can do and I have to bid you adieu. The Jesus in me recognizes and respects the Jesus in you in a word that is namaste. And we add amen. So I appreciate you being here and join us next time 
We have a great time and practice anything that you've seen. Okay. Great. Bye-bye.